Hi everybody, I'm Dr. Jay Burness and I run a concussion-based uh, functional neurology practice in Oakville, Ontario. And uh, just had another contact uh, from the website that I thought might be uh, useful, so I'll go over that with you. Um, it says, uh, hi Dr. Jay, I just wanted to start off by saying thank you for your YouTube videos. That's nice. Especially the grocery store aisle one. That one really helped me to understand how I am feeling since my injury. So, you know, I think it's been, what, three or three or four years since I started doing videos. And I know it's been uh, the last year or so, I really haven't done very many at all. I've been so busy with work, but uh, I'm hoping to get back to it. So anyway, he goes on to say, I had a concussion several years ago, and although I have mostly recovered, I am still finding I am easily overwhelmed in busy environments, especially at work. It's like I get overstimulated. I am wondering if there is anything that can be done to help me considering it's been so long since my injury. So. Yeah, so it has been a long time, and and this particular uh, person, he doesn't give me a lot of details about his symptoms. He just says that he's overwhelmed. Uh, so I'm assuming uh, no headaches, no dizziness, things like that. I don't know. Um, and it brings up an interesting point that I thought it'd be good to share, and that is that, you know, it doesn't necessarily... Um, impact the effectiveness of treatment if you've been sick for a longer time. Um, the whole thing with me is, is if, if I'm going to be able to help someone, I have to be able to find something wrong. So so if I run an exam on a person and there's no, no findings, nothing that I can say that says, oh, this isn't working properly for this person, then there's really nothing for me to do. And sometimes um, these, these higher functioning patients, uh, people who, you know, had a concussion and they, they went through all the headaches and the dizziness and the nausea and all the stuff that's uh, pretty typical and the, and the sympathetic stuff. Uh, and they sort of came through it over their own uh, passage of time, but they still have one or two niggling things that are bothering them. This person again, e easily overwhelmed in busy environments. Again, might be a little bit more sympathetic. He may have some difficulty with saccades, getting his eyes to targets in busy environments, whatever. But uh, I find that um, you know, people who have mostly recovered and there's just one or two little things that they feel is not quite right, those are usually the tougher cases to deal with in my experience. I have uh, um, much greater success dealing with people who have a multitude of symptoms, people who are, you know, for want of a better word, really messed up. They, they, they can't function day to day. And, and the more um, disabled they are, up to a point, of course, the the more likely, in my experience, I am to be able to improve their situation. When you get somebody who's almost 100% better, boy, those those ones are tough in my experience. So um, I can't tell whether I can help this person or not, and I really, you know, I get lots of requests through the internet. Uh, I can't tell if I can help any of them. Uh, I need to examine them first and see what I find. If I find something, then yeah, there's probably something we can try. But if I don't find anything, certainly, then there's nothing nothing that I can do specifically for them. Um, so I guess that's it. Um, if you have any questions, again, please go through my website. There's a, well, somewhere on the website there, there's an Ask Dr. J uh, window. And uh, you can send your questions to me. I'm happy to answer them if I can. Thanks for watching.